they have worn. Today, we want to be considering gathered skirts. Gathered skirts. So what are the measurement parameters we'll be needing? It's very easy, remember? Gathered skirt is even very, very easy at A and B and C. You, you just need the, the two measurements you actually need is just the skirt waist and the skirt length. Your skirt waist and your skirt length. Then the hips. You just use the hips to determine the fold, the extent of your fold. Gathers, you don't have particular extent of the fold, but if you want it to be well gathered, as in to really be full, you just say the hips. You use three times the hips for the length of the fabric you want to use. Like now, I'm making this for just a three year old girl, two plus three, three years old girl. So the hips is 22 inches. I'll now say 22 times three. That's the extent of the fabric I will use. 22 times three will give me 66 inches. Then I'll not get the length that I want to use. I'll be using length 15, 15 inches. Then the waist, the skirt waist is 21. So let's get started. It's just very easy. So 22 inches, just I want to know the extent of the fold now. The extent, it's not fold. You are not fold. I'm not folding it. The extent of the fabric, 22 inches, the hips times three in three places. If your hips is 40 and you want the gathers to be fully gathered, it all depends on the availability of materials. So you use 40 times three, that's 120 inches. Or if you don't have enough materials, you could just use 40 in two and a half places or 40 in two places, then it will not be fully gathered. So it all depends on you and what you want. So with this now, I want to achieve 66. Is 60 or 6 inches. So this 66. This 66. So with this right now, I'll just get my 15 inches skirt length. Then I'll add 1 inch for turning up and down. 1 inch. So with this, this is the extent of my fold. So it's going to be on the reverse. Get the 16 inches, just still getting the extent of my fold. It's just the 66 inches that are folded this way, just to cut out the sketch length 16. So with this, what do I need to do? I'll turn this place in. So I'll just go and draw my gathers. There are different ways of drawing your gathers. This, I'll draw my gathers round with the meshing. I'll draw my gathers round. So this will be the point where I'll be affixing my zipper. So I'll draw my gathers round. When I'm through drawing the gathers round, then I'll now come and fix get the band it's my fabric this way it's just one it's one way this way 
So I'm going to go and sew on gathers on the machine to achieve the gathers. Then once I achieve it, you see how it is, then you affix your zip, then we'll fix our band. With the help of is a machine, a hand sewing needle, please, or a machine needle this way. Or if your hand is so glossy, maybe you used, uh, what's it called? Cream, uh, grease. You could just be achieving the gathers. But if not, you can just be achieving it this way. Just be using the machine this way to achieve it. You just gather it. Gathers. So as you gather it, do so. You keep gathering it. So I just want to cut the band now. You can see that your gather skirt is as easy as A and B and C. You could make it three inches band. You could make it three inches band. You could make it two inches band. You could make it four inches. It all depends on what you want to make. But it's like I want to make it two inches band. And please, when you want to make the band, Ensure you calculate the band with the skirt's waist. Like my skirt length, please. Skirt band, this, this are two inches band now. If I want to achieve skirt length 30, I have to include this two inches band with that skirt length. If not, I will not achieve that skirt length 30. How will I include it? I will subtract it from that skirt length. If I want to achieve 30, 30 inches or 20 inches skirt length, I'll make the real skirts without the band 18. 18. Let's say 19 plus 10 in it, or thereabout. Then I'll now make the band two and a half inches, half inches for sewing in, or three inches up, half inches for sewing down, then just like that, or, or, or one inch. So you make the to achieve this two inches band, you could make it two and a half inches. Just make it two and a half inches. You sew an half inch. And it will be 2 inches, then the remaining skirt length will be 18. So, with that, you achieve your 20 inches skirt length. So, for this, I want to achieve 15 inches skirt length. So, I just want to add 2 inches band. I do have not, I did not include it in my skirt length, but I just have to multiply it. So, to achieve that 2 inches band, because I'll be turning it in, I'll make it, I'll, I'll double it, I'll make it four and a half inches or five inches. Why? Because I'm going to turn it in. You see it now. Yeah. So let me just cut my coat this one. So this 
four and the half inches by by eleven and a half. The skirt waist is same. 21, 21 divided by 2. No, it's just front and back panel. They are just together. This is just a single piece. So it's joining via the back light. This is where the zipper will be. And just like that. So, you know, that's allowance of the zipper. Maybe we we'll put the zipper in on half inch on both sides. So that's why I had to include it on the band to, to be like half half. That will give me. 22. So I want to make it 11 and a half. Just like that, you affix your zipper here. This way, you affix your zipper here. Let's say you're using six inches zipper or five inches zipper then you sew in the remaining parts this way but before sewing in you have to turn in this way you fold so far i'm not putting lining you just fold this way you turn in this way once then the second time so it will be one inch turn up you fold this way half this way then half then you sew you sew round or you could just whip it or you could just whip it then if you want to put the lining that means you just drop the lining inside you drop the lining inside you gather the lining just like the length for the length it's it's even advisable you don't put lining because it's going to use a lot of lining it's going to need a lot of lining you want to gather the lining, then you just sew it here and what you shut it off here. You sew, you end the lining too as you end the lower part so it will be short. You cannot turn it in because it's going to eat lots of lining. So you just gather the lining, the length of the waist, then you sew it like that. So after that, you now affix your zipper. After your zip, uh, before affixing your zipper, you put your band. This is the band this way. You just join the band this way to the to the gathered uh, part of the skirt. Then it's going to be this way. Then you just it's going to be this way. Then you just turn it in this way. This your gather skirt is ready. So just achieve your skirt waist. You achieve your skirt waist this way. Remember our skirt waist is 21, that's 10 and a half. This 10 and a half. So right here on this point, you know that this is where your zipper will be. This is where you are fix your zipper. Then Maybe the zipper is, it's, if it's an azot, whatever zipper inch you want. After stopping on the zipper, you know you affix the zipper from the inside this way. It will be on fold this way, you fold this way. So you affix the zipper, then you stop somewhere here, then you close the end. Remember, you would have folded the end, you would have turned up your lower part before doing that. So with this, your, what do you call it, your data skirt is ready, as easy as A and B and C, just that way. So, till I come away next time, have a lovely time. Bye-bye.